it's your boy taxed and welcome back to my youtube channel if you haven't already please consider smashing that subscribe button and get on with today's video i just finished playing the demo to the new game stellance blade on ps5 the experience is pretty great to be honest it's that next gen feeling on the ps5 amazing visuals amazing graphics amazing soundtrack the fighting is really crisp tight and clean that of which God of War 2018 and Ragnarok both delivered really well. So you've got that. This game just looks great. It just looks fantastic. The story looks engaging. They don't show you too much of what's going on. Pretty much what I gathered is you're an android on a mission on Earth. People just being wiped out. You have a little drone who's following you and that's piloted by someone else elsewhere named Adam. So that's where you get Adam and Eve, which is the main character's name being Eve. They announced it as Project Eve. And I actually thought it was meant to be a sequel or a remake or something of Parasite Eve, like third birthday, stuff like that. It's not. It has nothing to do with that. The theme of being an android and this amazing soundtrack and a desolated earth, it really is like near. And it really does give off that sort of bayonetta flair. It's not just the hair, it's not just the suits, it's just this is sort of like what we could have gotten had bayonetta sort of evolved into something more like this. Because although bayonetta would have been more flashy, it would have been more quick and precise, God of War and Devil May Cry were both a lot quicker than their recent releases back in the day. So it, this could have been like what Bayonetta turned into, but you know, Bayonetta is Bayonetta and that, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I wish Bayonetta came back into this form, but these are just the vibes that I got from this game. A very near Bayonetta, God of War, a little bit of Devil May Cry on top and you've got Stellar Blade and that's really awesome with a little bit of JRPG sprinkled through there it, I'm really excited for this it is worth mentioning as well that at the end of the demo you do unlock a boss mode where you fight a boss that's later on in the game and you have a few different suits to play with as well that is really awesome to check out as well I fought the boss I didn't beat him but I fought him and it was a really nice boss to fight again it was just really nice to see what there is to offer and you know, being in a different setting and fighting a different enemy, checking out some different suits that they had. The customization does seem to be pretty big in this game, as well as suits go. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did and you haven't already, please consider smashing that subscribe button, hit like, have a great day, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.